Hey guys, so about a year ago, I created this video here, Closure for Visual Studio Code. The reason why I made that video was because most Closure developers use Emacs. Uh, in particular, they're they're using the the extension or plugin Cider, which makes Closure development really easy. But I um, I wanted to make a video to showcase that you can use a uh, Visual Studio Code, which is an editor that most web developers already know how to use. And that was because of the extension called Kalva. Now, a couple of things have changed over the past year. Um, in specifically, Kalva has come out with a new version, so I just wanted to make a updated overview of how to use that for closure development. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to create a new closure application. So make sure I'm in the correct terminal and I'm just going to use Linegan to generate a new app and for the purposes of this video I'm just going to call it tap and we're going to go in there and open it up in Visual Studio Code uh, dot. there we go um, I don't need this and I'm going to close a couple of windows right now just because uh, so we can have some real estate alright so now that we're in a brand new uh, closure environment uh, we just open up our extensions and check to see that we have Kalva installed which is this extension now things may be a little different if you follow the last video um, there is a new version of Kalva I believe the legacy version is no longer available yeah so it's gone now but the old version had a different icon so that's really what you need to know so after you have it installed um, you might get a little notification on the bottom that says that you it'll conflict with the Vim extension which I have so just to demonstrate that I have the Vim extension um, I'm just highlighting stuff and to fix that you just have to open up your keyboard shortcuts which is this one and unbind escape and rebind it to shift escape uh, this will know that in comma mode you could use shift escape otherwise escape will be used by the Vim extension and not the comma extension and in the old version of comma uh, you would have to start a REPL before starting your project in the command line and just to make this bigger so you can see you have to run this command in the terminal however with the new Kalva uh, you can just simply jack in which is uh, I don't actually remember the key binding but you can use the control palette to get it but jack in is control alt c followed by control alt j and let's do that. Uh, Kalva will recognize that this is a Linegan project. And I'm not doing anything fancy, so I don't need any of these additional tools. And then it'll pick the profile to launch with. I only have one, so we just, we'll just pick that. And all this is just going to be Kalva starting up. And now you have a REPL window, as well as the terminal on the bottom. So let's uh, let's see what we can do. So the first thing you'll want to do is the command, which is to load this um, so Kalva load, is and also the the shortcut is Control Alt C to get to Kalva mode, and then Control Alt N to to load the namespace. And once we do that, you'll see that over here on our right the namespace has changed to where we're at and just to check we're going to type in the main function and see if that works and it gives us hello world and returns nil which is correct now if we were to change this main function and change this to I don't know let's say by world and then go back to our REPL window 
um, and try to do that again, it will still say hello world. And this is because we need to reload the, the file. And to do that, you just run the same command. Uh, but that's kind of annoying. So what most developers would do is that instead of using the actual REPL here, we'll do everything inside of the, our file. And we're going to create a comment form. And I'm going to open it up and make sure that our code formatter doesn't close it. And here, we could just um, evaluate other forms. So let's just do the addition of one and one. And let's, let's evaluate this. And we can evaluate with Calva eval. And then we just, uh, this is the one that you want to do. So this one is control alt C followed by E and you get two. Um, you can also send this to the REPL. So eval REPL. And of course, you can read the all the keyboard shortcuts um, until you become comfortable with using them, and which is what I'm doing. And then we just um, do shift escape to get rid of all the inline stuff. But then there's also other things you can do. So let's try something a little uh, more complicated. So let's try to map plus to a list of one, two, and three, and four. So here we can evaluate the list doing evaluate current form, and that gives us the list of one, two, three, and four. We can also evaluate the top level form, uh, top level form, which will map the addition to the list. That's uh, somewhat I actually expected. Let's try that again. Um, hmm. Interesting. I really thought... Alright, well, that's fine. Um, that's my mistake. I assumed that this would add up all, all the things inside of the list, but I guess not. Um, so, let's try this. No, that's that's obviously wrong. Um, anyways, so you can obviously try to play around in the inside the comment form, but then let's say you you want to actually try editing the main function. So we do main here, and uh, we can evaluate this, which returns nil uh, because a print line doesn't return anything. We can send this to the REPL window by evaluating in the REPL, which will give us the by world. And then inside here, we could just um, do some other stuff. So let's actually return uh, an actual value. So I'm going to return 9 and make sure that we reload. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Uh, reload our file, which is this one. I believe there's another one which is control C followed by enter and then we could also evaluate once again and it will get the 9 and then if we evaluate in the file we'll get the 9 so that's just a very um, high level overview of how to use Calva there is one gotcha that I want to mention which is in closure you're allowed to have um, infinite list. Oops. So the list of one, two, and three. If you try to evaluate this, it will block up the the REPL window because um, you're trying to evaluate an infinitely large list. And so once you do that, you'll have to quit the REPL window and then like um, start a new REPL. So whenever you so just to be a little careful, and for this case, uh, cycle just um, repeats one, two, and three infinitely. So we won't, what we want to do, uh, let's, let's add the correct primes. Um, 
we actually want to take uh, let's take 10 so then we could evaluate this and we get the the first 10 out of the repeating list all right um, I think that's all I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this is a good start to learning how to do um, program enclosure in Visual Studio Code and I hope to see you guys next time.